हेलो स्टूडेंट सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन हुक जॉइंट सो हियर वी हैव द क्वेश्चन ऑन द स्क्रीन यू कैन सी ए हुक जॉइंट इज यूज टू कनेक्ट ड्राइविंग शाउट इज रोटेटिंग यूनिफॉर्मली विथ ए स्पीड सो हियर द वन शॉफ्ट विल बी कंसिडर एज ए ड्राइविंग सो रफली टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड आई विल ड्रा ऑन स्केच हेयर so this is an shaft 1 and here we will connect with the shaft 2 let us say this is a shaft 1 and this is shaft 2 so we'll say this is as driving shaft and this is as drive one okay so now the speed of the driving shaft is given as 400 rpm so for the driving shaft the speed let us say n is the speed and 1 indicates for driving shaft so that is given as 400 rpm and the maximum speed of the driven shaft is 420 so this is the maximum speed of the driven shaft so for this so let us say n is the indication for speed for driven let us say 2 and it is given as 420 rpm okay and this is the maximum speed so we'll indicate as the maximum speed here so we can write here maximum speed for the drive on shaft so now you need to find the greatest permissible angle between the two shafts so between these two shafts what is the maximum permissible angle that is let us say alpha is the maximum permissible angle will take alpha let alpha will say as the angle between the two shafts so that you need to find out and also you need to find the minimum speed of the driven shaft so here so again mentioned. you need to calculate the what is the minimum speed let us say n2 as minimum will write this thing you need to calculate okay hope the question is clear to you now now let us go for this solution so these are the given values so this is the speed they have mentioned now we'll calculate what will be the uh, angular speed now because they have given the uh, rotating speed now we'll calculate the angular speed let us say omega is the angular speed for the driving shaft omega 1 so that equation is 2 pi n by 60 2 pi n1 n1 is 400 by 60 okay that is the angular speed again we'll calculate the maximum angular speed for the driven shaft that is omega 2 okay again, again i am repeating that will be the maximum angular speed because the angular maximum speed is given so for the angular speed it will be maximum angular speed that is omega 2 is equal to 2 pi n2 n2 is 420 by 60 so omega 1 and omega 2 calculating the omega 1 and omega 2 then we need to calculate what is the angle between the two shafts maximum angle you have to calculate okay so for that we have the equation for the maximum angular speed of the driven shaft so we have two equation in the hook joint so one is for the maximum angular speed for the driven shaft okay so now we will calculate the alpha by using this equation so this is omega 2 is equal to omega 1 by cos alpha or you can also write where omega 1 is equal to omega 2 into cos alpha so now this equation it becomes where cos alpha is equal to omega 1 by omega 2 this equation also you can use 
so where omega 1 is equal to 2 pi into 400 by 60 whole divided by 2 pi 420 by 60 so now this entire it will be get cancelled so now is equal to 400 by 4, 420 you will obtain that is cos alpha is equal to ok now again where alpha is equal to cos inverse of 400 by 420 we will directly calculate in the calcium so cos inverse is equal to 400 by 420 so we got 17.75 degree is the maximum permissible angle made between the two shaft that is alpha okay hope it is clear to you now now again we will go for calculating the minimum speed okay minimum speed of the drive one so again we have the another equation here to calculate the minimum speed so here we have taken the man, uh, maximum angular speed now there is another equation to calculate the the minimum angular speed of the drive one shaft that is omega 2 is equal to omega 1 cos alpha so omega 2 it is for the minimum now ok because of drive 1 omega 2 has the minimum angular speed so now what is omega it is 2 pi and 2 minimum and 2 minimum you have to write better you have to write as minimum here in the bracket because n2 which you already taken that is for maximum and this is for minimum by 60 is equal to omega 1 value of the omega 1 which is already known to you that is 2 pi n by 60 2 pi n is n1 is again 400 by 60 into cos alpha okay so cos alpha alpha value which you already calculated cos alpha is 17.75 you have to substitute there okay so now 2 pi 2 pi will get cancelled 60 60 will get cancelled so where n2 minimum is equal to 400 into cos 17.75 so if you make that is in the calci you can get directly get the answer okay that means so it is 400 into cos 17.75 so it is 380.9 so approximately 381 rpm so this is the minimum speed of the driven shaft okay